What's up, guys? Bahamut. This is going to be a quick video. You know, I'm at the point of my harassment where I don't even got to say the shit I go through. Most of my perps watch me. Most of these people really know what you're going through. Even targeted individuals, you know the things a targeted individual person has to go through, bro. And when you're dealing with harassment from a whole city, it's relentless, bro. When you're at your crib, you're getting harassed. When you're walking throughout the community, you're getting the looks. You're getting the laughs. You're getting the stomping, the clapping, the feet. The loud engines, you know. The noise campaign. Anything to grab your attention. You, and you realize how your targeting is always with the grabbing your attention. Doing things to grab your attention. You know, you won't find a nigga where... You won't find me at a place where I won't... Where I'm not supposed to be. But meanwhile, they'll flood individuals in your path to grab your attention. That have people expose them to their truth. Like, even the flying monkeys participating in on this shit, bro. You don't ever just think to yourself that shit. It's not like, oh, they, you get the notification. Hey, he's over here. He's over here. He's over here. He's not supposed to be. He's here. He's there. Nah, it ain't none of that shit, bro. No, it's these niggas in your path grabbing your attention and then claiming you're the crazy one. Like, understand, you're dealing with evil people when it comes to this targeting shit, bro. You're dealing with undercover homos. You're dealing with pedophiles. You're dealing with killers. You're dealing with murderers. You're dealing with all type of evil ass people. And I keep saying the same thing. If you notice a pattern, it ain't me exposing myself. No, it's me just truly seeing the deaths of this, the deaths of this program. Truly seeing how bad it is. And I thank God every day for giving me life. For having me experience, experience this type of behavior from people. Because it truly shows me this is Satan's world. This is an evil reality. You know? God is real. You know? The, the Bible might be a codex, truth and lie, just like everything else in this world. But I feel like God will truly, will truly show you, bro. He'll show you. I know there's goodness in this world. I know there's righteousness in this world. But I feel like this world is to, to, to become something more. You know, it's either you're going to become a demon or you're going to become an angel. If you ask me, you know, that, that's just how it is. Because every, like every day, is, it's, the, it's a literal spiritual battle, bro. Just imagine every day you step outside, you're getting targeted. You know, you're seeing the same synchronicities. You're seeing the same people in your path. That shit's not normal, bro. You know, this is why I even made my channel. And when I started to experience this, you know, I made a channel. I started talking about it, bro. 15 different states, three different countries, bro. I've never experienced the, the type of behavior and treatment that I'm receiving in Pittsburgh. You know, it's pushed me to the point where I don't even want to have uh, a conversation with anybody and I know that's due to the program and you know at the same time you know when I first came to the city yes I was very talkative I was talking to people all type of shit but I noticed a fluctuation within my reality that didn't seem normal you know and then the, the more it went on the more I realized oh okay I'm being psychologically fucked with I'm being tortured by some type of higher echelon some type of government organization because it, it don't make sense the things you go through bro it literally don't make sense you know it's just like everything you deal with it, it's like it, it's scripted and i it's, it's like scripted and orchestrated and i think what turns people off is the whole when you hear gang stalking really all it is is community oriented policing really it's it's a freemasonic city you know, especially if you're in a small city and you you and there's only a few target individuals who actually experience it, experience it, harassment from a whole city. Because I hear some target individuals still talk about they got friends and all that shit. And, and nah, fuck that shit. Real target. Tar well, I ain't going to say no. Let me take that real target individual because I know there's different levels to this shit. You know, target individuals that get targeted by a whole city or you in a small city, uh, city understand you're dealing with something truly wicked. You are in. Uh, a freemasonic location this is why they hit you with the red and blue synchronicities you know the coffin having people in front of you always pointing and shit like that these, look at the freemasonic book bro these these are their these are their jesters you know they they wear red and blue and shit like that these are the things these people do bro you really dealing with sick and demented people god really showed me that we really in the evil ass generation satan has fully taken control of the minds of everyone, the people, you know, even the the reality we live in, bro. This is a product of Satan's Satan's uh, view of the world. What it should be like, when really all this should be nature. 
with buildings entwined within nature. You know, I don't want to get onto my spiritual path, you know, because it's just like I feel like the more closer I became, the more I the closer I became to God, the more I realized that even the Bible was a codex. You know, it's a uh, uh, you know, it's def it's 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 people's uh, uh, encounters of, you know, meeting someone who is otherworldly or supernatural. You know, and yeah, change over time. And yes, we're in a demonic, we're in a, an evil system. So yes, Satan's going to have his influence and story switched around and have you confused and all type of stuff. This is what they do, bro. This is Satan's world. Understand when people say this is Satan's world, nigga, it's Satan's world, bro. This is why you can go through something as drastic as, you know, getting stalked and harassed by a whole community. You know, and you try to talk about it and then people just assume you're crazy, but then believe that the fucking football games and basketball games are watching with is actual real, not even understanding that everything that they know and love is scripted. Being exposed to gang stalking, community harassment, this government program opens up, truly opens up your eyes to understand that nigga it's bad enough everything else in the world is fake so y'all y'all so and it's like me acknowledging that this world is already fake y'all putting me in, in a fake environment with fake people who believes in rumors and lies about me uh, who are who uh, will approach me based on the rumors and lies that they heard about me like this shit is some some twisted evil ass shit bro y'all already i don't even have to explain the tactics i go through understand this times a hundred let's just say i can't even step outside without seeing the same motherfuckers without seeing the red and blue synchronicities without hearing the coughing you know the clapping the stomping the feet the kids in your face doing the tiktok dances you know bending over in front of you weird type of shit you know just you, you dealing with evil shit that's like i that's like i was saying it's like you won't find a nigga you know, a target. Let me just say, a targeted individual. You won't find a targeted individual where he's not supposed to be. This is why they send certain individuals in your face or in your presence to grab the reaction to see. Oh yeah, he is a creep. Oh, 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 when really, you know, God gave me the ability to see. God gave me a strong sense of discernment and intuition. So it's like I know when people be placed around me, these niggas be on some evil shit. It be scripted. It's all for the reaction. Like, like, bro going through this it truly shows you how fake the world actually is it's bad enough that, you know when you hear the theatrical you know everything the, the world stage like celebrities music entertainment all this shit is a stage and when you get placed inside this program you really start to see nigga this is a fucking scripted ass reality bro and we ain't never going to break free. You want to know why? Not because of the leaders. Not because of the one percenters. Not because of the, the people on top. No, it's because these people in this world, your average day Joe, these people participating in your harassment, it's because of these people. They refuse to fucking break out of the fucking system. They refuse to break out of the mind trap. They refuse to wake up to what this world really is. You know? They refuse It's, it's the people, it's the community, it's the society on why we're living the way we're living. All they, all the elites did was just set out a blueprint. Hey, this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is how you're supposed to live life. This is what you're supposed to do. Work, sleep, school, this, that. And we just blindly just follow it. Whenever we come together and we finally put it into this shit, that's when I feel like God will reveal himself, bro. And it's sad to say because... I feel like God just put that in my in my heart too to truly understand that. Like we not never going to come together until we go through chaos and destruction. Real chaos and destruction on a massive scale. That's the only way we ever going to come together and it's sad to say. You know, but it is what it is. That doesn't mean, you know, the few righteous that are in this satanic ass world shouldn't come together. Yeah, we should definitely should come together. You know, but even that, I understand the mental mindset when it comes to that, bro. It, it's it's all it's all a, it's a setup. You know, the the targeted community and shit like that, bro. Let's just face it, bro. We all fucked up. We all can't trust nobody because that's the mindset that they placed in us. But I feel like to have true intuition and discernment, truly blessed by God, you can just tell, bro. You can feel if a nigga real or not, bro. And a lot of these people in your path who want to who want to demoralize you and have you feel like you ain't shit and you know you you ain't nothing but a buster and shit like that. They remember they're going out their way, bro. They get the notification on their phone and they're going out their way to have you feel bad, bro, because they already know internal happiness and peace is within you. 
This is why they attack you the way they hit you with. You know, they hit you with the couples. They hit you with nice cars and nice things. They hit you with things of this world, of Satan's world. This is his world. Understand, you're not from this world. You know none of these shits last forever. You and your soul last forever. But Satan wants you to be connected to this world. He wants you to keep coming here. Like, and, and that's what I mean about the, the Bible being a codex. If you ask me, I firmly believe this is hell, bro. And you're going to keep coming back out of here. And you're going to, you, there's a chance to get out of here. But since you're, 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 you believe in the things of this world, it keeps you stuck here. And it's like, I don't, I just feel like that's my own spiritual download. But every, t when I came to that thing, I end up watching or came to that, that way of thinking or that mindset, I end up watching a scene and the show Lucifer like years ago, it was like, like uh, years ago. And I'll never forget when the dude, I guess he caused some car, car accident. And if you watch the show, you probably know what scene I'm talking about. But um, he was like, he caused some a car accident. He he had his briefcase or whatever. He tried to rush out and he kept like living in a moment where he caused somebody's death by a car accident. And he kept, you know, he kept reliving that moment. And Lucifer literally said to him, like, there is a way to get out of here, but he ain't never seen it or he ain't seen it in a long time. So it's like, I feel like, you know, that's just, and that's going back to my own spiritual download. I just feel like that was a download for me to truly understand. As long as we're connected to this world, bro, we ain't never going to see the truth. We ain't never going to be revealed to God, bro. It's it, until you choose to start to think outside the box. I feel like that's when God going to truly come to, you know, truly come to you, bro. You know, and he, and I feel like he speaks to everyone different. People might hear a voice. I'm not saying, yeah, I didn't hear no voice, but I'm very, I'm very observant of my reality. That's why even, like I said, when I made this channel, I just noticed how things were, were moving different. People were moving different. Like, there should be no reason how I'm seeing the same facial reaction on everybody I see. That shit's mad weird to me, bro. Like, it's like I already knew off rip shit wasn't right, bro. And it's just I just have this gift to be able to see through bullshit. And I feel like most target individuals, you're an empath and you have the ability to see through people's bullshit. So which is why they have to destroy you with rumors and lies and try to induce some type of fucked up mental behavior in you by continuously placing certain individuals in front of you all day, every day. You know, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about, young or old, bro. Understand, bro, it's not about what you are. It's about what they can turn you into. Remember that. And nobody can't tell you what to do or tell you, you know, leave it. But you and God, bro. Understand that. Nobody can control what you treat. If it's in you to do evil, you going to do evil. You know, like, if it's in you to be better, to be different, to be greater, nigga, you, you might go through darkness. You might go through your... You know, you might go through your sinful ways for a little while until you actually, until God actually wakes you up and be like, yo, yo, it's time, bro. No more bullshit. Time to get on your grind. Stop letting these demons take the best of you. These people don't have no power over you. They have no power over you. They can't control you. They can't tell you what to get up and what to wear in. You know, go to this person and stalk and harass them or go there because he's about to be over here. No, bro. Fuck all that shit, bro. You your own person. God gave you your right given was it your God given ability, free will, do what you want. You know, for so for all you perps who want to use indirects and subliminals talking about some uh you know, oh oh I hate this person. No, oh, uh, uh, why is he here? Oh uh, we leave, I hate doing this. And then go do something else. Go work hard for your money. And stop participating in the harassment of American citizens. And then wonder why you still going through the same bullshit is because you're continuously helping the government destroy your own people and you don't even see it. Y'all motherfuckers want to look at celebrities and shit and talk about sacrifice this, sacrifice that. Nigga, when the niggas in your own community is sacrificing family members like candy. This is why you got cousins, aunties, aunt, niggas disappearing, bro. Niggas being found with their organs and shit missing. Like, come on, bro. And they, they, yeah, these once the percenters did some mass ritual and sacrifice and the, the elites knew they had an influence to bring in, you know, more people. But understand the majority of people who's really out here sacrificing motherfuckers. Oh, the, it's the niggas within your own community. Straight up. It's the people in your own city. Anything for a dollar, bro. Understand, bro. We live in a satanic ass generation. We are in Babylon.
whether you want to believe that or not. Time is short. You can't tell. You feel that sun every day? Feel how it's burning your ass up? Now me, I'm good. I'm chilling. I love the sun. Like I said, it is what it is. You know, I understand uh, the, even the biological things behind the sun. I understand the sun is the strongest detoxifier and cleanser. So when you're sitting outside and it's hurting you, or it seems like it's hot or it's hurting you, is because of the shit that's in your body. You're not eating right. You're not putting things of life in your body. You're putting death and processed shit in your body. This is why you start to break out and everything. See, I learned late. So it's like you're seeing the process. You're seeing, you know, how I, I was big and now I'm getting skinnier and skinnier. You know, I can't work out the way I want to because of work. You know, I got to do whatever I could do to stay afloat because I know at the end of the day, this goal, they truly want you just broken. <laughs> you know, I understand this, this world is an enslavement. Whether you, you know, you can't see that or not, this world is a whole enslavement. You know, but I'm not going to destroy my own people to get this demonic ass dollar. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do whatever I got to do to make it, bro. But what I'm not going to do is destroy other people because of rumors and lies, bro. That's one thing you really got to ask yourself. And that's why I was telling y'all why I kind of put, why I kind of, you know, why I kind of believe that it, there is a God and all that. Because 90% of the world, bro, these niggas don't follow the teachings, bro. And y'all really need to think about that, bro. Even when it comes to your harassment, you start to notice church members participating in your, in your harassment. You got church members gossiping and slandering. Bro, these people aren't of God, bro. These, these niggas, they're using the face of God, but doing evil shit, man. And you can really tell a child of God, a child of God is going to walk in a room and have everybody's head turns. And don't even have to say a word, but you feel threatened. You feel like a nigga like me trying to intimidate you. Like you trying to like, <laughs> like I'm trying to have you feel bad or some shit or I'm trying to scare you when it's like when you look at your harassment, those are the things that they all try to do to you. They all try to harass, you know, they all try to make you feel bad. They all try to intimidate you. They all try to make you in, in fear and scared and uh, do to all the tactics that they use, bro. <laughs> Understand, bro. Understand, bro. You, you being a real child of God, you're a mirror to these people. It's not about what you are. It's about what you reveal to these people. Come on, bro. Shit is a joke. Understand, this is Satan's kingdom, man. Don't let these people destroy you, bro. Don't have, and I'm talking from experience, man. I don't let this shit get to me to the fullest, to the point where I'm living in my room, filthy, don't even want to do shit, don't want to move, don't want to operate. I'm telling y'all from experience, bro. You not a, you not as fucked up as you think. You might have some bad qualities. That's what makes us human, bro. You're supposed to have things, have bad qualities to turn people off some days. But nigga, it's your realness, bro. Is what 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 gives you the ability to attract the right people in your life. And when you find yourself in this position where you're getting harassed and, and targeted by a whole city, understand, bro, you're you're on that list to be a warrior of God. And, and Satan sees that. Satan wants you fight. Imagine if he had one of us speaking this devilish shit out here. Imagine the type of people we can bring in. Imagine the, the confusion we can place in people's minds. Nah, man. Like, I, I see that, bro. I don't want to cause nothing like that. I don't want to fucking be a bad energy. You know, if y'all niggas want to believe in a certain thing about me through rumors and lies, but you actually never sat down and had a conversation with me, but I, I, all that shit is null and void, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that. You know, because that's the thing with this program, bro. You got a bunch of people. You got a bunch of people trying to control perspective of uh, perspective of reality. You know, they want people to see you in a negative light. You know, we're good people, bro. Like, and, and don't get it twisted, bro. I was never before type of person to say I'm all good bro I know I got my problems but what I'm not I'm not the type of person that's gonna sit around and harass and stalk and have you feel a certain type of way because I received some type of indirect or because the nigga who been on the block 
you know, talking shit all day, wanted to say you're some type of title, but you look at the actions that they doing, they still got their hands in evil ass shit, but want to project you to be a certain way. Like, understand, bro, we, we are in dark times, man. We are in dark times, and don't let these people, you know, try to control you, bro, through this shit, you know? It's like they want you to be blind. They don't want you asking questions. They don't want you fucking seeing through the bullshit, bro. It's They want you to remain blind, confused, toxic, you know, just putting your foot on people's necks to make it. Nah, bro. These, I'm telling you, bro, this is a devilish world. And this is why I said many will be in hell, bro. And few will actually go to heaven in the end, bro. Look how fucked up the world is. It's bad. Like I said, it's bad enough. Reality is already, you know, fucked up. Fake, fake games, fake actors and, you know, all this fake ass shit in this world. And then for you get placed in a program to where they literally script out reality for you. And, Bro, you'll probably develop spiritual sickness. Like, damn, nigga, I don't want to get up and go outside today, nigga. Because I know as soon as I step outside, nigga, they're going to the same motherfuckers synchronizing my face all day, every day, bro. That's illogical, bro. Even in this small city, it don't make no sense. Every time I step out the door, I see the same synchronicities, bro. And then literally those, those be the same motherfuckers calling you crazy. Understand, bro. Society, the world is already fucking crazy, man. Stop this fucking projecting niggas being a fucking a twisted way. And nah, nigga, we all fucking crazy, bro. We all a victim of being tor uh, targeted by this evil ass system. You know, some more than others. And the ones who've been dealing with that mass, you know, pretty much you receiving this destruction to feel like from the whole city. Understand, bro, you got something bright in you, bro. You're the angels, the spirit guys you have around you, God, that Holy Ghost energy inside you, yeah, that disrupts that energy within them. This is why when you come, when you first time you and you approach somebody, you might have a real good conversation because the angel inside them resonates with you, you know. But you'll get around motherfuckers you don't know from a can of paint, and you just get in a path and love oh, fuck this motherfucker. Yeah, nigga, you aggravate they demons, man. Niggas out here wicked, bro. I'm telling you. There is no longer that, you know, when we were growing up in high school, how they teach you, oh, be smile to everybody, be kind to every Nah, bro, we passed that stage, bro. We in the end game. <laughs> we in the end game, bro. And if you're not careful, these niggas will use that smile in your face and shit to fucking set your bitch ass up. Especially in America. Look at America, bro. Every, every serial killer in America... And I mean every serial and you could a serial killer, and you can look at that information for yourself. They will literally, they all have the same like mindset that they tell you to be in society. Smile, wave, be kind. You know, do every serial killer in America had that same demeanor or uh, demeanor, outgoing, cool, happy. You know, it, that's the trap they get you in. And the motherfuckers who are who are real. The motherfuckers are not going to take your bullshit. The motherfuckers are going to let you know who they are up front. We're the ones being hated. We're the ones being hated by the, uh, the whole community because we're being ourselves. Since I'm not walking around here with a fucking plastered on. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, John, how's the wife and kids? Since I ain't walking around like that, you know, I, I'm the problem. Nah, and it's because it's not because I'm just a fucking hateful ass person. Nah, it's because I see the bullshit that we're in. I see the evil in this world. Ain't none of that, man. None that that whole putting a smile on and pretending your life a okay. That shit not gonna work with me, bro. Whether it's of God, whether I'm crazy, whether I, whatever you, whatever the story is, bro. But I know for certain, bro. I don't allow fucked up people in my life. So, you know, if you wonder why he's not talking, you know, why is he not worrying about me? And if you in that bunch of people who. Who, who doing pacific things to grab my attention trying to harass me talk down to me if you down to me in any type of way bro i'm just gonna know it we're not in the time frames to just be we we're not in the time frames to be just accepting anybody bro we gotta we gotta be aware bro because your boy satan roaming like a lion man these niggas are seeking to devour anything anything good at that and that's one thing, bro. Just 
like I said, man, and I'm telling y'all from experience, be careful, man. Be Try to still be kind to people. See, in my reality in Pittsburgh, it's already over. You got to re 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 reveal to me how bad the city really is, bro. I'm not going fucking, you know, bitch out and fucking act differently. Yes, I, I'm definitely going to leave up out of the city, but I'm not going to have a whole city thinking they going to control how I respond to people. Nah, I'm st I'm a stand on business, bro. I'm a stand on. I'm not going to fucking talk to nobody. If you out here thinking you're going to harass and disrespect me, bro, that shit is it's a done data deal, bro. Uh -huh. Like even for the perps watching right now, that's exactly why I ain't talk to your bitch ass. That's what you didn't synchronize with me a thousand times, and I done looked at you the same fucking way, or didn't look at you at all. Because nigga, I saw the demons on your ass and around your ass, bro. I ain't got time for that, man. I don't. Over here, in my energy biofield, nigga, it's all about improving and getting better and working on yourself. This is why when niggas get around me, nigga, they want to do better. They want to do more. They want to flex. I'm not I, I'm not here to entertain people's bullshit, bro. I don't care what the rumors and lies are saying. I'm not here to entertain you assholes, bro. I'm here to get closer to God, bro. I don't care what the rumors and lies. I don't care what niggas are speaking on my name, bro. That shit, that shit is a done deal. You know? That shit is a done deal. I don't care, man. You know, y'all people can continue just whatever niggas are saying about me. You know, even when it responds to children. Yeah, I'll talk to a child, bro, who wants, who don't have this evil ass, childish ass, childish ass families, you know, who want to befriend you instead of treating you like they're the fucking child. You know, even when it comes to that shit, bro, that shit breaks my heart. Seeing how when I was their age, bro, I was outside playing and shit. But to find out that nigga, they using children to even harass unsuspected targets yo it it should just let you know off rip bro what type of evil ass world we in they won they got her children that's why they said the first people they go after is women and children just happened you know it's not like i hear it down the street on it because this is a highway it's not like i heard it coming all the way down and then you hear it go down now nah, it literally you hear the loud engine right here and then it stops you know it's just like you know people don't have to believe that my harassment is that bad but man i could tell you things that these niggas been doing that have you be like nah bro you tripping you bugging but understand where you in this program and you start to get you starting to notice that you're you're getting these harassment tactics from the whole city from people who don't know oh man oh man bro if you don't have god with you if you don't have no type of strong mind bro Man, bro, you <laughs> now you start to see why niggas go on these killing sprees. Now, that's the question we all used to ask ourselves, bro. Why the what the fuck will make somebody just walk in somewhere in a mall and just spray motherfuckers down? The niggas who go in school and do that type of shit, you a fucking asshole, and you deserve hell or whatever type of fire and brimstone, whatever comes your way. It is what it is. But you know, for the people who go out there and really be on, you know, who do shit like that, or you hear them. You know, talk about they shot out the police and all that shit. And then nine times, oh, I ain't gonna say nine times out of ten, but the few times you'll actually hear people talk about, you know, if they end up getting to the point where they're interrogating and wondering, oh, why'd you do it? You'll hear a motherfucker say about, yeah, I was getting stalked, I was getting harassed by the community, I was getting followed by the cops, cops tapped my phone, all type, like, bro, bro, now you start to understand, you know, now you really start to understand everything is orchestrated. The crimes you hear about is niggas losing their shit because of this program. I'm starting to see this gang stalking shit is really bigger than what motherfuckers really think it is. And there's a reason why when you say gang stalking and majority of the population is like, oh, yeah, no, no. Because they've been using shit like this to control the masses for years, bro. That's just my honest. That's what I, I believe. You know, they've been using this shit to control the masses forever. And I'm telling you, bro, we got to wake up. We got to wake up from this shit before it's too late. And it's like, I already see it, bro. You know, I already see it. Niggas not going to be ready, you know. You're going to have your few that's going to be ready. But when these niggas cut the lights and, you know, cut the bank accounts, oh, bro, best believe you don't think that shit happening in your lifetime, this lifetime, you got another thing coming, bro. 
You know, and if you can, if you are connected to society in this world, you're going to fall with this world. You're going to fall with this bitch. Best believe it. This is why I still didn't have a child yet. You know, because I want my child to to be self-efficient. I want them coming into this world knowing they can make their own food. They can hunt for their own food. They can build their own place. They can build. I don't want them to, you know, I'll give them the option like, hey, you can do this, live in this program as reality, or you can do this and build your own shit. I want my fucking child to come in here and be straight and set. I don't want my child doing what these what these people got their children doing, participating in other people's harassment all day, every day. The fuck, bro? And you call yourself a parent. Man, you's a bitch. And you destroying your whole family tree because you want to give out to this world. You want to do things for you want to do something strange for a dollar. And I don't mean lustful. I mean this shit, bro. Well, I mean lustful too. At this point, niggas do anything for a dollar nowadays. Like, come on, man. This shit's a joke, man. This shit is a joke. And now I understand, bro, why this world tries so hard to play down on me, to torture me, belittle me, you know, call me a child, you know, have me think in certain ways and shit like, nah, bro, this world, Satan's kingdom always wanted me to be a warrior for darkness, but nah, it's not, it's not, I was never meant to be, bro, y'all yeah, might have had me for a point in time, stuck in my depression and shit, y'all yeah, might have had me for a little bit, but I know in the end, I was always supposed to fight for the light, I was always supposed to be on God's side. That's why God gave me these abilities my whole life, bro. I've always been able to see, you know? I've always just been able to naturally see through things. You know, other spiritual people, other God-gifted people, only you will understand what I'm talking about, man. These people, these, these people in this evil-ass system, bro, they gave away that ability. They gave away their God-given abilities for things of this world money materialism that's all they care about that's why they i even said it before they that's the way they attack you bro they attack you through this world showing you couples showing you you know people with nice things and you know people performing these little theatrical skills hey mark hey mark how you doing hey john how you doing you know everybody know each other they look at you and they hit you with a meme up yeah you know, bro it's a joke bro <laughs> These niggas get 50 years of fame and then burn for eternity, bro. What? No, bro. I'd rather go through 50 years of pain and, and live in, you know, righteousness for all eternity. What? That that deal is illogical as hell, bro. <laughs> Makes no sense. You want me to sell out, sacrifice my own people for a dollar of money? Shit I can't bring to me in the afterlife. You know, all for me to burn for all eternity at the end of the day. Nah, I'd rather go through 50 years of suffering. You got me fucked up. You know, I'd rather endure until the end. And that's what I'm going to do, endure until the end. Why, I'm the devil, I'm this, I'm evil, I'm this, I'm I'm everything wicked, you know. I'm going to continue doing me. You know, hopefully I can get up out of this city. I'm definitely having those thoughts about, the, you know, disappear so I can uh, enjoy a normal reality before I bite the dust, you know. Because I'll be damned if I go through this shit before, I, you know, until I die. If I never meet a female, and that's really the only thing I wanted from this world, bro. Just to be honest with you, the only thing I ever wanted from this world was a female to see me for me. That one Pacific one, bro. Yeah, I guess you could you could consider me the nice guy, you know? I don't believe in sleeping around and shit like that. I really want to meet a female that's going to see me for me. You know, I see her for her. And it's not all about sex and... Nah, bro. It, being able to sit down and just chill all day and like bro I want my woman to be like my best friend type shit bro <laughs> like I don't know I just feel like my mindset is different man uh, like I, I feel like I was either born either too early or too late but in this generation but the the things that I'm going through you know I guess I could take that back you know I know I was I was in this generation for a reason I was in this world to fucking free the minds of the people whether people want to believe me or not, bro, it is what it is. I was here to free y'all mind, bro, because y'all stuck in the evil ass system that don't give a shit about y'all, and y'all destroying y'all others, brothers and sisters, white or black, doesn't matter. Y'all still destroying each other off of fucking like whatever. Like, come on, man. Understand, true evil in this world 
in Satan's reality is living a best life, bro. These niggas are living a best life, which is why they got to try to induce anything and everything in you because they know they know us. They need things outside of them to be happy. We, we already have that internal peace, bro. Even just look at the, the things throughout history and the wars and shit. Notice how it was always a motherfucker sitting by himself, chilling, living their own peaceful life. And niggas came over there and start fuck with them. It's just, history is always going to repeat itself. You find internal pieces, you chilling, minding your own business, not really bothering people. But you have your own happiness. Niggas going, niggas going to bring the problems to you. They're going to create trauma in your life when it comes to these gang stalkers, community devils. It don't even matter. These people are going to bring the trauma towards you, bro. Understand that. You know. But this Bahamas, man. I'm up out of here. This is probably going to be a while before I another, make another video. But like I said, I'm about to start branching off from even talking about gang stalking. Get more into the word. Bring more into my some of my spiritual downloads. And how I can pretty much see the end. You know, and how niggas ain't going to be ready for it. But it is what it is, man. This Bahamas, I'm out of here. Make sure y'all stay up and stay high vibrational. I'm gone.